Hey guys, this is DB126 here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon White 2. In the last phase, we've defeated the Opelucid City Gym Leader Drayden, and it was also the Christmas episode in the last phase. So, I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas yesterday. Or, yeah, the day I'm recording this is actually um, the 26th, if you guys didn't know that. So anyway, let's get out of the gym. Then when we get out of the gym, then Drayden will come, will come out. I'll show you the way. Follow me. And I'm actually recording this at night, but I actually changed the time in my 3DS, if you guys didn't know that. Because I don't want to record at night. So I wonder where... Oh, there he is. But first, let me just heal up my team. After getting exhausted from that gym battle right there. You know, the gym battle, the previous gym battle actually wasn't a challenge, even though I didn't have any ice types in my roster. However, I did have um, Dragonfly, which is my only, which would be, would have actually been the best option to use for this gym right here. Uh, wait, should we buy some hyper potions? We won't need some repels, because today we are going to stay in Opalus City. So, let's get out. This way. We're here. Okay, come inside. Oh, I think he's gonna tell us a story. I don't know. Let me tell you the story. Oh, I was right. It's a long story, but listen closely. It was two years ago when the two Dragon Pokemon were awakened. White Dragon po the White Dragon Pokemon Reshram sought what is true, with the desire to usher in a new world of goodness. And the Black Dragon Pokemon, Zekrom, pursued what is ideal, with the desire to usher in a new world of hope. Reshram and Zekrom were once a single Pokemon. You may wonder why it is split in two. The single Dragon Pokemon is had helped the twin heroes bring a new region into being. But the twin heroes, the younger brother who sought ideals and the older brother who sought the truth, sundered the region in two as they fought to see which of them was right. In that desperate hour, the single dragon Pokemon split its body into a white Pokemon and black Pokemon, even though ideals and truth don't need to be in opposition. As the story goes, a third dragon Pokemon, Curum, also came into existence in that era, and there may be proof of this to be found in a treasure passed down in my family for generations, the DNA splicers. Professor Juniper's research determined that the materials in the splicers date back this, to the same era as the materials used in, the, uh, in building the Dragon Spiral Tower. Oh, the DNA splicers stored very safely. I guard them because I don't know what kind of power might lie within them. But here's what, what's been bothering me. Could there be one more Dragon Pokemon? Even if Kirim really exists, we don't know what kind of Pokemon it is. For starters, the two Pokemon, the ancient Pokemon split into, into are both overwhelmingly powerful. So if Kirim exists, could it be just a husk, a shell that was left over? Boom! Hmm? What was that sound? Ooh, I wonder what it is. What was that? Oh, it's a cutscene, I'll be quiet.
this world of ice. Ooh, so Drayden sent out his Haxorus. Haxorus, use Dragon Tail. Rawr, Haxorus should have used Iron Tail because it's actually super effective against ice. That's enough, Haxorus. Not only did the ice stay unbroken, there's not even a scratch on it. What's going on? I don't think that's going to work. Oh, don't tell me it's Team Plasma. I remember you from N's castle. It's bitter cold. I'm shivering, I'm suffering, but I'm alive. In what, it's what the, es the essence of life feels like. It's proof of my existence. But that's enough of philosophy. Here are the facts of your admiration. The ice speci was specially created by Team Plasma's technology. As long as we are secret weapon, you'll never be able to melt or break this ice. Let me explain our purpose here. Drayden, hand over the, D the DNA splicers. Opelucid City is a city where the past and the future are entwined. Could there be a more perfect place for the splicers that connect the separated Pokemon? Do you think someone who knows what you did two years ago will just hand them over quietly? <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. At this point, I'd like to threaten you with another volley of ice. But we can't use it for a moment. Sigh, it won't be enjoyable in this cold. But I guess we'll just search for them. Those foul villains! Danny, I want you to help me. We're going to drive Team Plasma out of Opelucid City. Ooh, I think this has turned to a winter wonderland. Wow, it's so slippery in here. Hmm, I think, think Drayden's battling that grunt. And you don't battle. I think you battle. Yeah, I knew it. First Team Plasma Grunt here. Because, you know, we might have some new Pokemon. Okay, only two. First one's a Watchog, okay. So yeah, guys, I hope, um, hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. And if you guys don't know what I got for Christmas, it was just, um... Okay, you just switched out into a muck. Whatever. But anyway, if you guys don't know what I got for Christmas, I, um... Uh... I got, um... Uh, I got, like, some pants. Like, I finally got some gray jeans. Finally, it's about time that I get some. Um... And I also got a belt to combo with that. Um... I got a shirt, but then it got too small, so then I'll have to return it on on Friday, I think. Yeah, I think on Friday. I don't know yet. And the last thing that I got um, was actually one of my most favorite things, which is an iPhone. Yes. Yes, guys, I finally got a phone. Finally, it's about time that I get a phone. And I also have a cool case. It's where you, you can like slide it down and then you can type. It's really cool, actually. Unfortunately, on my, um, on my Facebook account, I wasn't able to post a picture of it. But whatever. How can this be? Is that kind of power Pokemon have when they're not treated like objects? So Bolt's my only Pokemon that's not at level 46. Let's give it the lucky egg. And um, I only got the iPhone 4, if you guys didn't know that, instead of the 5, because um, the 5 was too expensive. So that's why I decided to get the 4 instead. Now let's see if there's any more Plasma Grunts in here in this winter wonderland. Wow, all the f houses are frozen in here. 
Ooh, found another one. Don't get in our way, you bother, 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 bother. Let's see what you got. You might have some poison types. Ha, I knew it, but I can kill the skull bat with a discharge instead of psychic. Discharge. And it's actually good that I'm recording this after Christmas because um, because the whole city like turned into ice, which actually matches, I think. And I knew it. I knew this grunt would have a poison type. Garboder. I mean, what is this thing supposed to be? It like scares the heck out of me. <laughs> really. And hopefully Body Slam right here won't paralyze me. Okay, good, it doesn't. So, one more Psychic. And there we go. Wow, we get a crap load of XP. I don't know what you just said, but whatever. Why am I saying whatever all the time? Well, let's just throw Shell Blade up front. Again, we're gonna give you the lucky egg. Let's see if there's any more grunts in here. There's the gym, which we're not gonna go through again. Oh, found another one. This time we'll take over the Unova region. I don't think you'll take over the Unova region, really. Because you've just froze only this part here, Opelucid City. And you will only freeze this part. I guess. So anyway, this guy right here has a new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. It's the Viper. It's a pure poison type. Has really good, um, it's really good attacking stats, like attack and special attack. Also has decent speed, but it's really frail, so try to use a super effective move on it, and then it should go down. Let's finish you off with an Aerial Ace. And a Weezing, which is also a new Pokemon that we haven't seen. And Weezing has really good, um, has really good attack and also has really good defense. So, um, but it doesn't have the greatest special defense in the world. So try to hit it on the special side if you can. Then it should go down. As you can see, their Sludge Bomb did a lot of damage since Weezing actually has decent special attack. Shellblade, you were so close. It's leveling up there. And I think he just said something about the Pokemon Gym. Let's take the Lucky Egg, and I think I'll give it to Ryu. Okay, so let's go up here. Oh, there's the exit, so we're not going to go there just yet. I'm just going to keep on wandering around here until I find another Team Plasma Grunt. Ooh, it's Zinzolan! How about we have a battle? Oh, for crying out loud, I didn't expect to have a fight hampered by cold like this. Well, no matter. In fact, that I'm shivering means I'm truly alive. All right. Let's do this, Zinzolan. This is actually a mini boss of the game. It's not really a boss. It's just a mini boss, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So Zinzolan's gonna start out with a cryogonal, and I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch out to Ryu right away, and then go for a Force Palm, since, um, as you know, cryogonal has really good special attack, speed, and special defense. But it doesn't have the greatest defense in the world. It actually has horrible defense, so try to hit it on the physical side if you can. Even if it's neutral or something like that, it will still do a lot of damage to Cryogonal. Trust me, guys. I look to see how much this Force Palm will do. Yeah! I think that's how much damage it will do if it's like a neutral physical move, I think. 
And another cryogonal, I think Zinzolan likes likes these things a lot. Let's go for a force palm. And it's using light screen on a mixed attacker right here, but I'm gonna go for force palm right here. And that takes it out once again with a crit. Come on. Ah, oh, you were so close. And last but not least, he'll send um, Zinzolan will send out his Weavile, which I think is his main Pokemon. That is, um, yeah, this is his main Pokemon. Uh, Weavile is a new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. Um, has really good um, attack. He's also really fast too. So if you're at my levels, it will outspeed anything you have, unless you have an Excel Gore or something like that, or a Crobat. And there we go. And fighting type moves are what you want to use against Weavile because it's ice and dark type. Calm Mind. You know what? We'll actually learn this, even though Ryu doesn't have any special moves. Let's see. Should I get rid of Bone Rush for this? I've never really seen myself using it that much. Bone Rush is only 25 base power. Then I could keep Swords Dance. This is a hard decision. You know what, I think I'll get rid of Bone Rush, maybe, because I've never really used it that much. I can always go to Dragonfly if I need to handle anything that's weak against ground-type moves. And Ryu won't get Aura Sphere until level 51. But who cares, I'll just keep Calm Mind so then I can boost the power of my Shadow Ball. You're a strong trainer. You definitely are adept at handling Pokemon. I believe I'll take my leave, simply because I can't stand this cold. But imagine this, a Unova region completely covered in ice. To achieve that splendor, we'll do whatever it takes to obtain the DNA splicers. How can Drayden teleport there, really? Ah, Nintendo logic. You're even better than I hoped. Thanks to you, we drove them off. I'm grateful to your Pokemon also. After all that, the least I can do is heal them with this medicine. Wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Harumph. That's a new record for making for making it here and back. Look, Danny, these are the DNA splicers. Ooh. Looks cool. This is what they are they were after. We're really fortunate Team Plasma didn't get their hands on them. I don't know what their goal is, but I'm sure they're planning something wicked. Oh my god, it's a Shadow Triad member. As we su suspected, the hiding place was in the gym. Well thought out, if Drayden is in here, we can't get in. If he is there, he's probably the strongest guard we could possibly face. It also explains why the Pokemon Gym was remodeled. Whatever, the DNA splices are in our hands now. It's beyond my imagination to think you'd use one of the seven sages to find out where the splices are. Now you know, then. We will accomplish our goals, no matter what the cost. We don't have the ability to captivate the hearts of others like Lord N does. Instead, we will blend peop we will we will bend people to our um, to our with, with will with brute force. Ooh, it's some more ninjas. Let's go get them. If they have been stolen from us, we'll just have to take them back. funny how Drayden runs there. Imagine if this was the anime. I'd be laughing so hard if it was. So, um... Where should I put up front? Well, let's put Dragonfly. And I'm gonna give you the lucky egg. In case we see some more poison types from these Shadow Triad members. Now let's see where they are. Just where are these ninjas hiding? Just show yourselves, you ninjas. I'm looking for ya. Wait. I think we can go this way. Ah, we can't. Oh, Drayden. Drayden, he's there. See what you 
got. So be on guard as you look, okay. I'll just walk around until I find them. Now where are these ninjas hiding? Ah, there's one. Hehe, <laughs> you don't really think you can take the DNA splicers back, do you? So we got the first Shadow Triad battle. The first Shadow Triad member in here. Ooh, a vanishing ninja. I haven't seen those before. But he has a new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. Ponyard, which is a dark and steel type. Has really good, um, has really good attack. Also has really good defense. But, like all steel types, it doesn't have the greatest special defense in the world, so try to hit it on the special side if you can. But I don't know if Earth Power will do that much, considering Flygon doesn't have that much special attack. Okay, so it does do a good amount, actually. So the next Pokemon will be an Absol, which is also a new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. Uh, Absol has really good attack, um, also has really good special attack and speed, but uh, it's really frail, so just use a super effective move, or a neutral move, and then it should do a lot of damage to it. No earth power. Oh. And it's gonna sword dance set up, so that means it can sweep my whole team right now. Let's go for another earth power right here, and hopefully I can get a crit right here. Oh, we were so close. And I don't know if it has the super lo Oh! I was about to say, um, I wasn't sure if it has the super luck ability or not, because if it does, then then it will have a high chance of a critical hit rate. So now we have three Pokemon at level 47 now. And we now have a po another Ponyard, which I'm gonna go to Gatorade for this. And I don't know if this Ponyard has um, the ability um, Defiant or not, I think that's how you pronounce it. Because right here I'll send it out, and then it's... Uh, oh, so it doesn't. Because basically what it does, if, if it has any of its stats lowered from any move or anything that has Intimidate, then its attack will increase two stages. But this one right here is an Inner Focus Ponyard. Oh, and Shadow is your name. That's a nice name you have. Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, it's Drayden again. Oh no, ah no, no no, it's not your fault Danny, you were impressive, it's me who let everybody down. Ooh, it's the cross transceiver. Who might this be? So it's Tren, huh? Danny, a strange ship was flying toward Opelucid City, right? I saw it too. Tren, that, that's Team Plasma's ship, isn't it? Yes, no doubt about it. Anyway, I'll be arriving in just a moment. Okay, I'll leave things to you. Danny, if you run into any trouble, call me. Ah, oh, if there were only two of me, then I could protect the town and chase after them too. Ooh, it's Tren. Danny, Drayden, g glad to see you're, uns you're safe as well. Hello, Tren, you have certainly grown. I hear you filled in for Lenora by becoming the gym leader in Aspersia City. Thanks. We should be we should save catching up for later. I have a good idea of where Team Plasma is hiding. The place with the lowest temperature in the Nova region right now is an area close to Humala City. Drayden, please protect Opelucid City. Tommy and I will find Team Plasma. Very well. I will do my part, and thanks. The chase, I'll leave it to you, but don't do anything reckless. Danny, I could use your help if you're willing. You're a skilled trainer who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Team Plasma. That's my definition of useful. Drayden, we're off. Humala City, huh? Is there anything to the north of Undela Town? Danny, protect Pokemon from Team Plasma. All people should think for themselves about the nature of the relationship between people and Pokemon. It's not something that uh, Team Plasma gets to decide for everyone. Alright, so I think I'll end it off right here. So next time, 
Um, let's see where we're gonna go to. I don't know the route name. Alright, so... We're gonna go back to La Canosa Town. We're gonna go back to Undela Town, and then we might be at the Seaside Cave. Or, no. Actually, we're gonna go, like, this way to the Marine Tube, and then we'll arrive in Humala City. Alright, so next time, we're gonna return to both La Canosa and Undela Town. Actually, to Undela Town, actually. To Undela Town only, because I'll fly there. Um, and we'll hopefully arrive in Humala City. Alright, I'll see you guys then.